Hey guys, um, can you see and hear me now? I just went and hardwired my computer, so I think it may be a little bit better. I forgot I was on Wi-Fi, and I totally forgot to switch it over to hardwiring, so I hope it's better now. Oh, and Carrie just texted me, so she asked me if I was online. Are you online? Yes, I am, Carrie. Sorry, guys, I had to, I was, I wanted to hardwire it because it seems to go much quicker when I hardwire it. Carrie, is the, vol is the video and the audio working okay? Is everything good? Where did I put that sticking out here? There? Okay, I think we're all good. Does it sound good on your guys' side? Oh, and wow, we just jumped about 30 viewers. Okay, so there are people logging on. We just jumped another six. Awesome! We are... I'm so excited for tonight's class. Tonight is going to be a fun one, just because we get to do something out of the ordinary, and plus I get to play with a line that's not even released yet, which is just fun. I just think it's, like, fun to do. Doesn't it just sound like fun? So, my gosh, it's so dark. See, I have to move up to the camera. It's because I have this, like, um, this window back here that puts light in, so it's, like, silhouetting me, kind of. And, yeah. So basically everything you're going to see tonight that I'm creating has, I'm creating just like right here, right there, and it is just, I'm creating on the fly as Carrie says. So I don't have anything planned at all, it's just going to be whatever happens, kind of just happens, and I just almost forgot that to um, plug in my hot glue gun, but then I realized I don't use it anymore. I use this glue. My Fabri-Tac glue, it's my favorite stuff. So we're going to get started in just a couple minutes. There are still a few people logging on, I could tell. And... I think... that we are good. Oh yeah, we're good, and we're going to create stuff. I think you guys are really going to like... Uh, like, my favorite thing from this like whole set of stuff that um, I got sent to me is this one album, and I think it is so cool. I want to open it and just look at it, but I haven't opened it because I wanted to open it with you guys. So, we'll see. I love it, and the papers are just so much fun. Are any of you guys going to CHA? Raise your hand if you're going to CHA. Yes, Carrie and Sharon hooked me up with lots of goodies. Oh, thanks. Look, I still have my Yuki books right on the side of me. I like to look at them. They're like little inspirational books. Ooh. They're sitting right over there. Okay. So I'm going to point the camera down. Oh. Um, I started a new Twitter. I'm going to post all about my classes on there. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Scrappy underscore Happy on Twitter, just to let you know. Um, I'm going to post my class dates and stuff on there, so I'm mainly using it for Live with Prima because that's what a lot of um, a lot of these other people that I follow who do their use streams, they use um, Twitter because then it gets it kind of gets around more, if that makes sense. And I think I'm going to turn the camera down and we can get started. Is everyone ready to watch this awesome, cool class that we're going to do? If you're ready, say... Ready to rock and roll. Awesome, you guys. So I'm going to point the camera down, and we are going to start off by... I'm going to show you all the product that is in this new line, or what I have, at least, of the product in the new line. And then we are going to create some um, Gorge mini album. Okay, so I'm going to point the camera down. No, you can't see the flowers yet. Oh my gosh, you're looking at all the flowers. Stop looking. This is totally off-center. I feel like this is high. Like, normally we go in more. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, I have to get the little... I have to get my camera situated. Because typically... It's not like this. And I feel like I'm kind of orange. I'm going to open up the window now because I, cause it will just let a little bit more light in. See, look at how much better. Is this good? Is everybody good at this angle? I don't think I could zoom in anymore. I don't like... Like, I'm so OCD. When I do my videos, I have to have, like, the same equal amount of edging showing on each side. It's kind of weird. I'm just weird like that. So I'm going to push some of these flowers over. 
and let's get started. So I have this whole pizza box full of stuff. Look at all this. Big, huge pizza box full of stuff. So I think we should start with the papers. Do you guys want to see the papers first? Does that sound good to start with thy papers? Um, where should I set this box? I'll set it here. Okay. So, this, uh, the collection I'm going to be showing you guys today is the Welcome to Paris collection. And it again is, again, one of the brand new lines that Prima is releasing. And I'm going to start off by showing you the papers. So, this one is called Something About Her. And this is what this one looks like. It's, like, red with some script and some, um, like, silhouetted ladies. And the back side has this really sort of retro um, circle pattern. So, again, that one is called Something About Her. And then here's the next one called Red, Red Letter Day, like R-E-D Letter Day. And it has all these really neat um, sort of typographic elements. And the other side has... Um, sort of these butterflies on it. They're like little butterfly images. I'm not sure if you can see them, but they have, they're white and there's some blue and some yellow ones just here and there. Is it okay, you guys? Can you see it okay? Which way should I move these? Move them this way. Okay, and then the next one is called Ledger, and it has, it looks like this, and look, it has a huge Eiffel Tower on it, and it says, Welcome to Paris. So the, um, Oh my gosh, okay, I'll, I'll allow the links for you, Carrie. One second, you guys, I forgot to allow the links. There we go. So here is the um, Welcome to Paris paper, or this is called Ledger, and the back side has this really neat um, ledger on it with sort of like a script. It's sort of vintage-y. And the next one is called Cutouts, and it has all of these different cutouts, and it has like some um, little journaling spots and some elements and also some letters that you can cut out if you'd like to. And I think that's actually a pretty neat idea. I've never seen an alphabet to cut out before. And the back side has these um, little Eiffel Towers, just like a repetitive Eiffel Tower image on the back. And the next one we have here is called Swag Flowers, and like, oh my gosh, Right when I saw that word swag, I thought of Justin Bieber's boyfriend song. Have you guys heard that? It's like, swag, 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 on you, chillin' by the fire, what we eat in fondue. I don't know why that just popped in my head. Um, so this is called Swag Flowers, and it has these sort of vintage -y flowers on it. And the back side um, has this pretty neat um, sort of damask pattern on it. It's really nice. It's yellow. It's yellow. It's lello. And this one's called Little Ladies, and it has just, like, ladies and gentle... I think there's... No, it's all ladies um, on here, and it they're just like this. And the back side has this one, which sort of is like a framed page with these sort of retro elements popping in. And the next paper is called Stripes, and it has these stripes of, um, the, like, the ladies that are on this page. It has stripes of them, and then it has dots, and it's sort of distressed and worn here and there, which is pretty nice. And the back side has these Eiffel Towers with some ledger paper on it. And this collection was actually created by Sharon's daughter. Um, Sharon is another one of the, uh, Prima... I'm not sure if she's doing Live with Prima anymore. I think she's just the, um, sort of, like... Um, educator and Sharon's daughter created this line and this one this paper is called welcome to Paris and it has all these ladies on it here and the back side has this and this is my favorite paper I just like this sort of um, pattern here I want this in a mask so Carrie put this as a request for a mask I want a mask like this okay I think this would be such a really a really neat mask so these are all of the papers, you guys. Look at all these lovely papers. I think there are a total of eight papers in the collection. And here are the back sides. So really fun. Totally love this paper. And I'm going to set this to the side, you guys, so we can move on to our next, to move on to the next stuff. And I don't even know where to set this. I'll set it back here. Okay, so 
I have a lot of stuff in here. I have two different alphabets. I realize that one of them is the Zephyr alphabet and one of them is the Welcome to Paris. So this is the um, coordinating, this is the alphabet for the Welcome to Paris collection. And it has this alphabet here, which are sort of like hexagons, and then it has these words up here. And it has this sort of um, typographic elements down here. And here is um, here are these ones here that uh, are circles. They're sort of like um, the typewriter keys, and then this sort of scripty font up here with this with this blue on red. And Carrie, should I show the Zephyr one also because I have it here? I think Sharon sent it to me. It sort of matches the line. But I'll move on to something else. Um, here are two different masks that I have. And um, these masks are really neat. I totally love this one. Look at you guys. It is gears. Do you see these gears in here? Isn't this one awesome? So there are gears all around this. And it's sort of like, I think this would be cool to mask it and then cut it out and s uh, layer a photo on top of it. So this is a really great mask to have. And another mask I have here is like the peacock feather one. And look at there are peacock feathers on this one. So this one is really neat as well. And I love the shape of these because you could stick it in like um, like um, a portion of your page and spray over it. And then this could be like your base layer. And then you could layer on top of this and bring it out. So this one would be fun to spray with like some yellow and blue and purple. And, oh, the Zephyr alphabet looks like this. It has this really great yellow. And as you can see, this totally goes with that um, Welcome to Paris line. has this yellow uh, typographic element down here on the hexagons and the, uh, what are these, little words. And then it has these, uh, this great sort of typewriter font, like the typewriter font letters. And then it has the circular letters down here. Oh, my gosh, I love these masks. So those are those. And then we have some journaling cards, and who doesn't love journaling cards? I always have to buy the journaling cards for the collection because it's just so much easier to work with pre-cut journaling cards, I think. So here are the journaling cards. Here's one of them. Like this. And here is the next one. These are all die-cut journaling cards. And then this one has sort of an Eiffel Tower on it. And this is a really odd shape, but it's really nice. You can see the shape like this. Pretty neat. And then I love this shape. It's sort of like a Baroque. Is it clear, you guys? Can you see this okay? And here's a square, which is a pretty neat one, because you, you could cut out the inside and make it a frame if you want to. That one's pretty cool. And then there's this one, which is also, which would also be a pretty cool frame, or lovely frame. It has this sort of frame-esque look to it. So those are all of the different journaling cards. And of course, I just got sample ones sent to me. Um, the packages include um, multiples of each of them. Those are the journaling cards. And I have some bling here. I don't know if this... The, see, I have... I have, um, these are the prototype packaging. The prototype comes in these packagings. The ones that you actually will be able to buy are going to come in the real packaging. But here are some rhinestone swirls. These are actually really pretty. I think these would be great for Christmas as well. They kind of look like candy canes, don't they? Candy canes. So those are the, um, those are the bling swirls. And I think I have some more bling in here as well. Yes, I do. And I don't think these ones actually coordinate with the Welcome to Paris collection, but they may. Um, these ones are actually photo corners, which are really neat. Look at these, you guys. I think these are probably um, one of my new favorite blings. There are photo corners on here. Like, that's so clever. Photo corner bling. Look like this. They're so sparkly. So there's that bling that I have. And then there's these ones, which are also really neat. They're like um, postage stamps so there's like the postage stamp and it has a little the little waves you know that goes across it i don't know how to explain that but pretty cool and this is like a postage stamp shape with little waves and then there's like that one there postage bling so i have these three blings really fun And what else do I have in here? I have some wood buttons that match the Welcome to Paris collection. Look at all these wood buttons. Super fun. 
I love the wood buttons just because you get 18 pieces in here and they're wood they have a wood grain and they're printed and the nice thing is is that they're only printed on one side I believe I don't remember yeah these ones are printed on one side so if you don't like the print you still have a great uh, like wood button on the opposite side so those are the wood buttons that match the collection and these are some flowers, and Sharon sent me these ones. Carrie sent me a majority of the flowers, but Sharon sent me these ones. And I actually really like these ones. I'm not sure what these ones are called, Carrie, because Sharon sent them. But they look like this. Uh, and they coordinate with the Welcome to Paris line. Like, this one has little um, Eiffel Towers on it. Look at how adorable these are. The little pearl, the little mulberry flowers with pearl centers. So those are those ones. These match the Welcome to Paris collection. There's even a black one, which is pretty neat. I haven't seen a black one. And, ooh, look at the stamp set, you guys. This is a must-have. Look at this stamp set. It has these really nice borders, and it has that border that I was um, talking about that was in that uh, paper that I wanted as a mask. And um, there's a little, this one says Welcome to Paris at the top, and there's a postcard, and a postage stamp, and like a lady, and an Eiffel Tower. Totally love this. And I love that the Prima ones are teal. The cling stamps are teal. I think that is so fun. Like, look at it. They're blue. Yeah, this is a must-have stamp set. And Prima stamps are so inexpensive. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Uh, Prima stamps are so inexpensive. Like, this full set of stamps is, like, literally, like, $5.99 or something like that. Because I could see these going... Like, if this was not Prima brand, I could see these at Michael's for, like, $9.99. Really fun stamps. And here is a clear... This is a clear stamp that matches the collection, I believe. No, this is actually from the Tea Time collection. Um, I didn't look at that before, but these are little keys and locks with a frame. So you get a total of seven stamps in this little set, and these little ones are literally like a dollar ninety-nine. How cool! Like two dollars for seven stamps. Little keys and locks. And ooh. Okay, I do actually have a Welcome to Paris um, stamp set. These come with five pieces, and they're little labels. There's one little label here, and then there's a couple little um, miniature borders on there. So you can either repeat them or just use them as small little elements. Really fun. This is from the Welcome to Paris line. This one's from the Tea Time. And I actually have one more that Carrie sent along, and this is from the Zephyr line. And it has four little words in it, and I love this one. Me and Carrie were talking about this um, stamp set. This it says, Perfect, Amazing, uh, Precious, and Love. So there are four different stamps in there. And those are three of the cling stamps. And I have two of the tiles, actually. And wait, I think I actually got a full set of them sent. Yeah. So Sharon... Sharon sent me these two tiles, which are actually in the package. These are the two. These are the two tiles, but um, actually, there's a set of vintage trinkets, which I see has the two tiles at the top as well. So I'm assuming um, Carrie sent me this pack. So I'm assuming that Carrie didn't use it, but Sharon used these elements here. But she sent me these two. So there are these. These are the vintage trinkets that match the um, the Welcome to Paris line. Love them, and they're like uh, little trinkets with bottle cap trinkets as well as square frame trinkets, so really nice. And then these are the little tiles. So now I have four little tiles, and I don't, I think that's about it that matches the line. Here are some little velvet trinkets, and I, these are new, these are a brand new item. They're little velvet baubles, and I'm going to show you them. See, so they're little, um, they're little beaded baubles that have like beads on them and a little wrap looped at the top, and they have a little velvet ball, and then at the very bottom there are two little crystal dangles. So they're little velvet crystal dangles. I think these are so fun. They look like that. And this particular set comes with like a red, a yellow, and a gray tone.
Oh, and these actually go with the Zephyr collection, I guess. It says Zephyr on the back of it. And I have another set of those somewhere. Oh, here they are. I have this set, which is just the romance novel ones. And you get it 10 pieces, but I think I got this from... I don't know who I got this from, Carrie or Sharon, but I'm assuming they use the other ones. So there are black ones in here. Look at how good the black and the gold looks together on these ones. Really lovely. And we're almost to my favorite part, you guys, but... Okay, so do you guys remember the shabby chic, the resin treasures that Ingvild put out a while ago? With all the different, like, mushrooms and all the different res resin treasures? Well, she brought them back, and there are new ones, you guys, which is awesome, because everyone was so in love with those, and these ones are just as amazing. So look at these. These are one side. These are, I don't, it doesn't say which one's on it, but these are like little cherubs. Cherub resins. And then here are two more cherub resins, and this one has like a little violin, and this one's carrying a heart. These are super great for shabby chic. Like, I could, don't, this looks like a little element that you'd find in like a vintage shop. They're just so really funky. Not really, they're not even funky, they're like shabby chic. And then, here are, you get three pieces in this one, and it comes with this really neat mask, and this awesome chair, and this, like, um, profile, or, um, what, headshot of this lady. And, you guys, I'm almost done, I promise. I have these, which are the, these are new, these are the vintage trinket, they're like stick pins. So they're actually little stick pins, and you get five of them in a pack, and they're metal. But look, there's a little Eiffel Tower one, and some wine with some cups, and a little wine glass, and a little dancing lady, and this sort of like um, stamped flourish type thing. And I'm actually going to open these, because I've never seen them before. So, yeah, they're actually, they're like little miniature hat pins. Do you see that? And they're, oh, these are really nice. These are really cool, actually. They're little hat pins with, like, little Eiffel Towers on them. So you can make your own stick pins and have a little embellishment on the top. Super good. How are we doing on time? 22 minutes? Okay, I think we're doing good. And aren't those fun? And here are a decorative wood embellishment, and this is, um, like, a door. So... It's like a door wood embellishment. It has these two doors in this window. So if you were, like, altering, like, a large box, you can make it into a house and use these wood elements. And I'm going to take them out just so I can show you. So there's these two wooden elements. And let's say you don't want these. You could actually just use them as wood, like, layering pieces. If you don't, if you can't find a usage for the doors, um, you could also use the opposite sides. You could shabby them up by just taking, like, um, you could whitewash them with some white paint, make it, a, like, a lightish blue color, um, and then here is the window for the top of the door. Super fun. I think these are just such neat little pieces. And look, you guys, look at these ones. Um, these are the vin Junkyard Findings, and I think these are a brand new line that Ingveld put out. They're called Junkyard Findings, and these are little zippers, and I love the white ones. They say, like, precious and priceless and um, create and inspire, and they're little zipper embellishments. Super awesome. And there's like, there's copper, and there's a gun metal, and a bronze, and a white. So you get four different metal tones in here. Okay, you guys, I'm on the last thing until I get to my favorite item. And Carrie, can you help me, tell me what these are? I know they're the mistable canvases, but I don't know if they have a specific line, or if they're just mistable bird canvases, because they're all little bird images. And let me get a piece of paper. Here is a nice purple piece, so you can see all the different shapes of the birds. And these are like mistable, 
Okay, so it's just a package of birds. I was thinking that's what it was. So these are mistable bird canvases. And birds are, like, so easily put into your, like, scrapbooking. So see, that's what the mistable canvas looks like. It looks like, like one of these before, and you spray it with your mist, and it turns into this really neat, um, the really neat, oh my gosh, look, this one's fat. It's like a fat bird. Oh, how cute. All these different fun bird shapes. Like this. Okay, you guys, I'm at my favorite part. Are you ready? Are you ready, you guys? Are you ready? It's an album, and you guys are going to love it. Thank you, Donna Downey, for making this. I think it is so cool. I'm, like, so excited to get these. Here is a sneak peek of it. Can you see it? Okay, so here we go, you guys. Look at this. This is the Donna Downey Coffee Cup Canvas Album. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I do not know why I'm like in love with this thing. It is the Poppy, Poppies and Peonies, Peonies Album by Donna Downey Studios. And it is in the shape of like a Starbucks coffee cup. Do you see that? Isn't that cool? I don't know why, I just think it's so, like, clever and just, like, so fun. So we're going to open this right now, and I'm just going to, like, totally rip it open with these pair of pliers because I don't know where my scissors are. Shut the front door. That's such a funny commercial. Have you guys heard that? It's like Franklin Delano or something like that. I forget how it goes. Okay. Oh my gosh, look! There's a little circle cut out on the front page. Oh wow, and then the little ring was in that circle. So you could bind your little album. So let's put the ring in our album. Oh, look at our little coffee cup album! Okay, this is probably, like, awesome. This is so cool, and it has, like, the stitching to show the lid. How awesome is this, you guys? I don't know why. I'm just, like, admiring this thing. I really like it. I think it's so much fun. Okay, you guys. That's all of the product that I'm going to share with you. Actually, it's not. I totally forgot about all these flowers. We're going to go through those really quickly. Are you guys ready for the flowers? All of the new, or um, some of the new flowers. At least you can get a style for some of the shapes. Okay. I'm going to start, I'm going to move some of these away. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, are we doing good? Yep, I took away your stamps. Sorry. You're going to have to purchase them when they come out. Okay. Oh, fancy. There you go. You can get a little bit of a better shape on there. And are you ready for the flowers? The flowers are awesome, you guys. So I kind of put them on packaging just so you can kind of get a feel for... This is not the packaging it's going to come in, but this I just put it on, like, extra spare packaging just so it kind of looks like, um, like Prima Flowers, if you know what I mean, rather than just being like, oh, these are the new flowers. There you go. Okay, so these are the Belcanto, the Belcanto flowers, and they look like this. They're like layered flowers with these really neat looking like um, ombre leaves in the back. And they have these yellow stamens with their, with, that are like tipped with brown. Super gorge. Those are the Belcanto flowers. And there's this really pretty one I think you guys are really going to like. These are the, this is the Banda flower. And that's B-A-N-D-A, -A, Banda. And look at this. So pretty. It's like satin and... It is, like, so gorgeous, and it has these pearls in the center. There is that one. And I have these ones, which are super pretty. These ones are called the, the Piera, or 
I don't know how to explain it. It's P I E R O T T, like the Pierrot. Pierrot. I don't know how to explain that or how to say that. But they look like this. They're like white. They're layered white flowers with these super pretty rhinestone centers. And the rhinestone centers are so like pretty. You could take this and make it into like a gorgeous little hair clip, like the Piero or something like that. Super gorge, and they have like these centers. I totally love these. And here you go. Here we have some more flowers, and these ones are the Overture flowers. These are the Overture, and they're like tie-dye. Ooh, these would be perfect for like a kid, a child page or something. They're really bright and funky. They're the overtures. Totally love them. They're little miniature flowers. And here we are. These are the Donna flowers. They're little brown, layered brown flowers with a little stamen in the center. And again, these ones are called Donna. And then these ones are just sort of like um, random ones. The, the red ones come in a pack of 12 carry sets. So the red ones come in a pack of 12 roses of assorted red tones. And same with the yellows. And these ones are random over here. So these are just sort of an assortment of the new roses. And these um, come packaged separately with their same color family, I guess. Really pretty. And they're little, they have a little bit of glitter on them. And here are some more flowers. And Carrie, I couldn't find the name of this one in your email. Um, they're little white like flowers. They kind of remind me of the fairy tale roses, but um, or the cabbage roses, but they're not really like them. I'm not sure what these ones are called. They're like miniature little white ones like this. But they're still adorable and small. And these ones are the Soprano flowers, and they look like this. They're like little miniature um, white and teal colored um, roses on wire, and they're Sopranos. And then I'm not sure what these ones were either, but these I really, really like. They're just like random clustered of petals. They're just like completely random, a random cluster of petals, and you could totally form them to whatever shape you like. And there's sort of this lightish red color, and a darker red, and even like a medium red. So there's like these three different red colors in there. And those are all of the flowers I have to share with you guys. Super pretty, I know, these are gorge. And I cannot wait to start using them and purchase them all at CHA for my little online store so excited okay so I'm gonna move some of these out of the way because we have to create something now I'm thinking I want to create something with that um, coffee cup album are you ready to create something with the coffee cup album everybody and I don't know what to use or what to create I'm not very sure I'm just going to wing it, everyone, okay? Sounds good. Let's create something messy. So you guys want to mist, want me to mist all over this coffee cup album? One second, guys. I'm just reading the comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Okay, so... Let's see what we can do, because I don't know if these masks sort of go with this coffee cup, because they're sort of gears and peacock feathers, and I don't really associate gears and peacock feathers with coffee cups. So, we will have to see. Should we add some gears, make it like a vintage coffee cup? <laughs> a vintage little coffee cup? That may actually be pretty neat. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Should we do that? Make it a vintage coffee cup? 
Steampunk coffee mug. I like Carrie's idea. Okay, we're going to create a steampunk coffee mug. And I have my little ranger. This is my little ranger craft sheet. I'm going to bring this out just so I can mist a little bit easier and clean it up. Get all of every all of the mess all cleaned up and such. So I'm going to set this down here. And I'm going to go grab some mist because we need mist, of course. I grabbed three different brown tones. I grabbed Coffee Shop, Bronze, and this Nougat color, which is like one of my favorites right now. And I think that we're going to start off just by spraying. And I'm hoping this will work how I'm kind of planning on it. I don't know in which direction I want my gears to go. I think I want them more of in this direction, but I want everything underneath it to stay clean while I spray, so... Just gonna give it a little bit of a guard. So like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and spray this. This one's like literally like about to end. There's not much left in this spray. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of a different tone. I'm gonna add nougat just to sort of fill in the gaps. like a little color. Ooh. Steampunky. This is what we have so far. Our steampunk coffee mug. And I'm going to just wipe this. See how clever this little craft sheet is? You just wipe it right off. It makes no mess. Just wipe it off. And then you can wipe it off the top of your mask as well. There we go. Let's go ahead and add some little gears to the top of this as well. Not sure how I want to add the gears up here. I think I want to like sort of add like a strip of them across. And this is just going to have to go everywhere because it's being sprayed in the wrong direction. I'm just going to sort of spray over the top and attempt to hold it in place while I shake another mist. And I'm going to spray the whole thing with this nougat. That way it kind of has this brownish tone. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over the top up here with the nougat as well. Ooh, it's like ombre! Very fancy! Right, you guys? Do you like it? Sort of neat? Okay, I'm going to get a paper towel because I need one. I need a paper towel to clean up my mess that I created. These masks clean up like super, really, really nice. Like there's nothing on the mask at all. Okay, let's see... I don't know if we're going to spray all the other pages or how we're going to go upon that, but I'm going to heat set this page with my Ranger Heat It craft tool. And you guys, listen to how quiet this thing is. Super, super quiet. all good and dry now this is gonna look like this I kind of am wanting like this page to be like green or something you know sort of like give it that Starbucksy look with like a green inside do you think we should make do you think we should spray this page green give it a greenish look should we add some splatters of like color on it 
green. Okay, I think we're gonna do green on this page, but I don't know if I have a dark, a dark green like I'm like wanting. Dark green. I have this. This is a uh, Glimmer Glam from Tattered Angels, and it's like this really olivey green color. I think this would work great. I'm just shaking it up, and I'm going to open up my Glimmer Glam and grab a brush, and I'm using my Claudine Helma Studio brush. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and just go right in to my Glam. And just, I might go ahead, oh my gosh, this is dark. And it may look all like soupy, or whatever you want to call this, like splotchy at the moment, but I'll make it look better or better -er. A little trick, you don't want to saturate your pages too much or it can go through your, um, it can go through your sewing. So I'm just going to go ahead, maybe I'll just leave it, like some of it, like sort of this splotchier effect. So it's going to have some really nice, does this look neat? Sort of distress, and look at the glitter in this, can you see that? Super glittery. And maybe I'll go ahead and hit it with the Nougat Glimmer Mist. And this will sort of blend it out and um, give the canvas a bit of a brownish shade. And then I'm going to just give it a bit of a, a dab here. Dab off some of the excess. We're gonna make this into a grungy piece. Okay, we are good on time. There. Ooh, how gorge. Look at the glitter in there. Shimmery. Super shimmery. Shim, shim, shimmery. I think we should just spray all of our pages a different color or like do something different to them. So I'm gonna grab some more mist colors. Okay, so I think I want the opposite side to be like a yellow tone. So I'm going to spray this one with sunflower. And I'm just going to spray the top pretty heavily with my mist. And then I'm just going to sort of spray it like lighter as I go down until I get to the bottom. And I'm just going to make sure the top is darker. That way we get this ombre effect. Ombre. Ombre hay. And this one we can... Should we use our peacock feather mask on this one, you guys? This is going to be like the weirdest album ever. It's going to be a coffee cup, peacock, album, steampunk thing. And for the peacock, we could use the color dragonfly. 
it's close enough to a peacock, right? Is it still an animal? Oops. Oh, my peacock's not working. Oh man, you guys, my peacock color isn't working. It's not spraying. Oh my gosh, we could resort back to teal high heel. Forgot I had this color. Let's see if this does the trick. Yes, teal high heel is working for us. Teal high heels close enough to peacock, right? My gosh, this is dark. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Look at this. Oh, how gorge. Oh my gosh, look how dark this mask is. I've never seen a mask do that. It's like so dark. I'm going to wipe it off. Or attempt to get it off. It's all over this craft sheet as well. Maybe teal high heel wasn't the best idea. It's just sort of mm, all over the place. Let me get another paper towel. Clean enough. Okay. This is like so crazy. Ooh, should we have this? Peek through? Nah. Kind of like the green. Kind of looks Starbucksy. Even though this is totally not Starbucks. I'm almost done. I'm just going to do some light misting on the other pages. Since we're going sort of crazy, I thought we'd go and add this coral color. I'll give it a diagonal ombre. Coral. This is the color Coral Reef. This one's called Medallion. This is another chalkboard mist, so it's going to get my stuff all crazy. Ooh, I like this, how this one mists. It, like, mists really nice. And I'm going to saturate it because I want this yellow tone, and then I'm going to blotch some of the excess off. The canvas texture is pretty neat, if I must say so myself. There we go, we have three of our canvas pages done. Now let's move on to another one. I don't know what color to use for this one. What should we use for this one? Should we use this spring violet color? It's like purple. <laughs> Sure, why not? We're just adding the most random colors to this album anyways. Uh, let's add some larger splotches on here. Fancy. Where'd my paper towel go? Here it is. We're almost done, you guys, and then we can start embellishing. Maybe I'll just splatter this one with black. There. 
a nice splattered page. I feel this is Halloween-y. Like, we're making a Halloween coffee cup. Where'd my paper towel go? Oh, here it is. I did that like three times so far. I keep losing my paper towel. Okay, last page. For this page, we can use like this green. It's meadow green. Oops. It's spraying wrong. Whoa, it's spraying out of this. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's not even spraying out of this, like the nozzle. Ew, that was gross. Now I have this like random page. Why don't I add some medallion to the top to fix my problem? There. Since we're going for this odd effect. I was thinking that this maybe could be an album that we could put up at the Prima booth for a sample, but now I'm thinking that we probably shouldn't. Sort of crazy and odd. Okay, we have all of our pages done. Mm, let me put my mask up. How dirty this mask is. I'm going to put these back so I don't forget... And they fall on the ground and I run them over with my chair because I've done that with like six masks already. Let me make sure this green is what I want. Coral? Do you guys like the coral? Or this purple? I don't like the purple. Nope. It's the coral or the green. I think we're just going to do the green. It doesn't look very Starbucks-y. I bet you I know it would make this album gorge if we whitewashed it all. All the pages got whitewashed. Then they'd all be cohesive and whitewashed and like colored and whitewashed. Isn't that a good idea? Yes, Jamie, you have to put your masks back in the package or else they'll fall on your ground and you'll run them over with your rolling chair. Like me. Do you think we should whitewash them? Okay, let's whitewash just like a couple of the pages and see what it looks like. Maybe we'll just gesso wash them. Oh wait, I don't have any gesso. Oh wait, I don't even have any white paint, do I? I don't think I have any white paint. One second. I have this, it's like... Martha Stewart. I think this is white paint. I don't know. We'll see. I need a little Mabel. Sure, we'll use this half used. No, that'll come off the bottom and make her white wash like blue. I need something to put this in. I'll put it in this. This odd container. Ew. Ew. Okay, I'm adding the paint. And I do not even have any water in here, unless I have like a water bottle. Oh, yep, I have a cup of water. I came prepared with a mug of water that I think my friend was drinking. Let's just pour it in here. maybe too thick. I 
think that's a little too thick. A little bit more water. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, you guys, this is going to go super fast. Watch my whitewashing skills. Very speedy, huh? I feel like this will make it all cohesive, and then maybe it could be something that we could display. I'm going to make this just like a grungy coffee cup album. Oh! Okay, speedy, speedy. Ew, I got it on my craft mat! have to clean it off right now. This is my this is my mat that I do my videos on, and I always get it dirty. And I'm like, no, why did I do that? Put it on this purple paper. I'm just sort of like scooping this wash on here. Looks like sherbet ice cream. All right, just pour my whitewash on it and then brush it on. That's very clever. Sorry, I'm doing this speedy. This one's pretty. It's like, kind of looks like a storm, like a rainstorm with like purple. And why don't we just go ahead and whitewash our splattered page as well, just because. Oh my gosh, look at all this like white I've gotten on my mat. It's better come off later, or I'm going to cut my mat. Well, I guess it's used for cutting, so. Almost done. I'm on, like, the last page. Anyone have any questions? This one looks like 7-Up, like Lemon Lime. And I also have to white for, whitewash this last. Did I do the Peacock Feather page? I feel like I didn't. I didn't. Okay, I'm going to whitewash this last page here. This sort of gives it like a vintagey, sort of shabby esque effect. Ooh. I think I like the whitewashing uh, effect a lot. It's going to make it look all cohesive and sort of like watercolored. Sorry, I'm wasting like time whitewashing this thing, you guys. I promise we'll get to embellishing in just a second, okay? Ooh, this one's turning out pretty cool. It's 
kind of like cloudy with the whitewash on it. There we go, and we are done like whitewashing. Hopefully that comes off later. It just toned down the pages a bit and gave him this really neat, distressed sort of a vibe. There, you guys, now look at how good it looks. I think this looks a hundred times better. Look at it, it's like all sort of whitewashed and just like a little bit vintage with still some fun elements in it. Yeah, I think the whitewash totally added an awesome little look to it. And now we should just start embellishing with some flowers. Does a coffee cup need flowers on it? I'm just going to grab some of the newer flowers that I have here. Some of the Donna flowers. And some of the Periote flowers, or however you say that word. Use tie-dye flowers. Oh, I should use one of these. These are pretty. I feel like this is going to be too much. Too many flowers. Oh, I want to use one of the... Um, one second, you guys. I'm going to grab some other things as well. I kind of wanted to use one of these little... These vintage trinkets. Should I add a cherub or like a chair? Like a chair like you're sitting and drinking your coffee or a mask? I want to add one. I think it will be a fun element. And he's a zipper. Zipper. Chair. Okay, we're going to add the chair. Okay. Ooh, the chair resin is so neat. I totally love it. Does that look too overkill? Hmm. I think it kind of does. Plus, this what flower is way too stark. It needs some coloring. It needs a little bit of coloration. Where's my a nougat to color? See, I'm just going to spray my white flower with the nougat. And then just splotch some of it off give it this really pretty little a little bit of a uh, tannish tone and then we can start adding all our stuff and I'm going to just use my Fabri-Tac adhesive because it is my favorite so I'm going to stick this one here and I want to add my resin embellishment on top but I'm going to layer it over the top of the flowers and and it's going to lay on the canvas as well. So you're going to want to make sure to add glue to literally the whole piece. And then stick it on so that it's sitting on top of the canvas. And on top of your flower. Like that. Oh, it's the Pirouette Collection. Oh, I get it now. Then I'm going to add one of these flowers. And one of the little Donna flowers. 
and tuck it up underneath. And then one of these little white flowers. And I might add just a little bit of paint or something to the center of the white flower. I'm just gonna grab a paint brush and what color should we add? I want like a little, I want a little bit of bronze. I'm gonna use this bronze color. And it's like a really pretty brownish tone and I'm going, or this is actually called copper I think. Oh no, it's bronze. I'm gonna stir it up with my paintbrush and I'm just gonna dr drop a couple drops of it just here and there on the petals. And I wanna get a lot of the little glimmer like on the petals, like that. A little bit of that. Looks gorge. Maybe I'll even add like a little bit to the chair, just as a little vintage touch. A little vintage-esque look. Little drops. Oh, and we want to add a zipper. We're just gonna make a collage of stuff. There's all that. You probably can't see it too well. I'll make sure to post pictures on my blog. And let's add a picture that says, what? or a zipper, not a picture. Should we add a inspired zipper or a create zipper? I think we're gonna add a create zipper just because this album is totally artsy and totally not like Starbucksy. I wonder if you could actually use this as a zipper because it has like the same exact, has like a little zipper closure and stuff on it. It actually like swings, which is pretty cool. And I think I'm just going to... Yep, Fabri-Tac rolls right off your fingers. Everyone... I love Fabri-Tac. Okay. Where should I stick the zipper? Should I stick it up under here? Sure, why not? There's my little zipper embellishment. Hanging. She's like a little chingly changly charm should probably wait for it to dry though and because I'm crazy and I want to add more stuff why don't we add one of our little stick pins and because this one has no theme it's like a little sort of like a stamp it just has a little uh, decorative element on it there's nothing on it except for like it kind of looks like a, a damask pattern or something why don't we just stick that in our flower cluster as well? And then I guess our title can just be this little uh, zipper that says create. Or should we do, should we add a title? Do you think we should add a title on the spot so we can create like a complete circle? Should we add a little title in there? No. Okay, we have a no, uh, yeah, a no, a love it, I couldn't, lol, how about, mm, coffee, sure, go for it, white space is good. Hmm. I think this is actually pretty neat, I kind of like it, it's sort of different. I'm just trying to think what I want to do. Here, it says create. Ooh, that's a good idea, Carrie. We could add a title to a tag hanging off of the ring. Let's see what we have as in tag-esque looking. I have this Zephyr stamp set. Should we title it Welcome to Paris? Even though this is not very Paris-esque, we could add a little, or we could just add a postcard hanging off. Should we just add a little postcard hanging off the edge? Mm. 
And for the postcard, I'm going to use some knotted wood. And this is the chalk ink, the Prima chalk ink. And I think I want to stamp it on maybe some of the patterned paper. Actually not. I don't think I want to. I think I'm just going to stamp it on some craft paper. And maybe I'll just go ahead and stamp it on this piece of chipboard. I don't know what I want to do. I kind of feel like I want to stamp it on the paper, but I don't think it really fits the theme that we're going for. They're all a little bit dark. I think I found out what I'm going to do. Will this fit in there? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the paper on the in the middle of this because it's sort of a brownish vintage style paper and I'm going to stamp it. So I'm going to add my chalk ink and this one's really dry. I've used this a ton. This is like my most used chalk inker. go and it's not going to show up too well and I'll clean that off later but I'm going to go ahead and add glue to the back of this and this is sort of an odd thing but I'm going to actually back it on some chipboard because I want it to be a little bit sturdier so I'm just adding glue and I'm not very cautious of where I'm adding it and I have just some lightweight chipboard here that I'm going to back this on and just Give it a good rubbing, and your ink, your Prima, your chalk ink is going to dry so quickly, you won't even need to um, mess with that. And I'm going to use some scissors, and I'm going to cut this out super quick. There we go. We have our little postcard. Oh, look at our little postcard, you guys. Isn't it gorge? It's totally gorge. And I'm just going to uh, ink the edges a little bit with this ink so it looks like a finished element. And I think just to make it even more finished on the opposite side, I'm going to ink it as well. I just need a little small something scrap paper-y. And I'm just going to ink this completely with the chalk ink, so it's going to take on the brownish color. It's kind of like a wood stain. It looks like wood. And I'm going to heat set it, and I probably should be heat setting it on this like vinyl or this plastic paper, but maybe it won't warp. That's dry, and I think I'm going to add an eyelet to this just to make it a little bit more sturdy, but I don't know if I want to add it. No, I'm not going to add an eyelet. That's too much. I'm just going to punch a hole in the corner of our little, punch a little hole in the corner of our postcard, and we could just tie this on with some sort of like a baker's twine or something. What should we tie it on with? Some hemp cord? I'm just going to tie this onto our ring with some hemp cording. And I'm going to make sure it's a little bit loose. So that way it could have a little bit of like um, like wiggle room and just be able to move around a little bit. And I'm going to tie it in a bow. Or attempt to tie it in a bow at least. It's pretty nice. Turn off the edge. There we have a little postcard hanging off our binding. Postcard! How gorge. Like, look, it's like one of, like, if you were to go to a little store, you could, like, purchase a little um, coffee cup, and it has a little hang tag price tag on it.
How gorge! Now I feel like it needs something on the postcard. I'm crazy. Or maybe we could add a little vintage bobble. Do you think we should add a little vintage, uh, a little velvet bobble to the binding? We could add one of like the, the grayish, uh, yellowish looking bobbles. And look at how prepared I came. My little gold jump ring set. And these happen to be made in gold so I could add these on. Just gonna add like one on. And I think I'm just gonna like stick this through the knot on our hemp. There, vintage. Velvet bobble. Just adds a little extra accent. Very nice. Yes, we could add something to the middle of this, or you could have a photo popping through, because you could just have a photo on the opposite page, and then it could just pop right through. And I think that this album... I don't know, Sh Carrie, should we do any of the- I don't think we should do anything else. I think we should, we should have just done the cover. And then I'll finish it and bring it to CHA, and I'll post it on my blog. I don't think we have time for the inside. Yeah, sh I'll share the rest of my blog with you guys. So if you guys do not know my blog, it is scrappyhappiness.com, and you can go there, and you can just follow it, and you'll get it in your little feed, um, and I'll make sure to finish the album, and post what I create with the, um, post what I create with the album. Yes, I'll make sure to finish it, you guys. I actually really like it. It looks really nice. Maybe I'll add a little bit of chalk ink to this, this chair, just to give it a little bit of like a vintage, vintage look. And you can just sort of, it's like, sort of like that rub and buff stuff. You can just add it on your finger, sort of rub it on, give it like a little vintage esque effect. There! I just vintageized our little embellishment. It's a little steampunk coffee cup with a postcard hang tag. Thanks so much for coming, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this class. I'm going to point the camera up now. I'm going to point the camera up now, and I'll show you standing. Super gorge. The inside's really fun. I, mean, I think there's going to be some fun stuff to do in there. Thank you guys so much for coming to the class. We had a, actually quite a bit of people on tonight. I didn't get a, I didn't see it, but at the moment, I know we, I see we have 97 people on. So... Thanks so much for coming, you guys. I hope you enjoyed tonight's class. And um, thanks so much, Carrie and uh, Jamie, for being the moderators. <sighs> Do you have any questions at all? Anybody have any questions about what we did? I can't wait to go to Chicago. Um, I'm staying with a friend um, in Chicago, so it's going to be so much fun. And we've been talking on the phone and stuff. It's just going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to get to see Carrie. And I don't think Jamie's going. So I'll see everyone else, though. And Annie, you are the chat winner for tonight. Annie, you can claim your prize. You just have to, um, congratulations, Annie. Just, um, email Carrie at Carrie at Prima Marketing Inc. dot com. C A R I at sign P R I M A M A R K E T I N G I N C dot com. 
So I think that's all you guys, and I thank you guys so much for coming to, for t to tonight's class. And Carrie, who is up next week for classes? I didn't look. I forgot to look. Okay, Zephyr, and I don't remember who has Zephyr. Does Jamie have Zephyr? No, Jamie doesn't have Zephyr, does she? Stephanie, Steph Miller has Zephyr on Tuesday. So you guys will get to see all of the Zephyr stuff. So thanks much again, you guys, for coming tonight. Um, and I will talk to you all later. Don't forget to head over to my blog and um, follow it. That way you get the news feed when I post about our little vintage coffee cup steampunk album. So thanks so much for coming, you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye, everyone.